for me, like so many of us, it was about getting outside and choosing a career that aligned with my moral values. After working in information technology for about 25 years, I got tired of sitting behind a desk. Spending time outside and in the field is really what students remember most. I don't think students necessarily remember, hey, that lecture you gave or that homework assignment. What they really remember is, oh, that time we were out and we saw that bald eagle or we saw a bear or we all went swimming in the river. Holy shit. <laughs> That's food right there. If you needed to. <laughs> that is so pretty. Oh, perfect. So you can see the bark and you can see the center of the tree. We really try to focus on active learning and applied learning. My goal is to work for the Forest Service or BLM, the National Park Service. It seems like every week they're, you know, be the BLM or the Forest Service are always at the school, I mean, hiring right out of the school. My plan might be a little bit different than my cohorts. I'm actually kind of interested in education. So I'm gonna be uh, pursuing uh, teaching in like a public school capacity during the school year and then doing different governmental jobs over the summer. Environmental sciences because uh, actually I'm doing a dual degree, renewable energy engineering as well as environmental science. And I knew I was going to fulfill an engineering degree somewhere when I decided to return to college. And so happened that OIT offered the dual with environmental science and I thought that that was a perfect balance. Yes, you could be an engineer, you can be a computer scientist, you can be a natural scientist, you could be a wildlife biologist, you could be a fisheries biologist, you could be a hydrologist, a geologist, a climatologist, a chemist, and all of those disciplines all come together in the environmental sciences. And then you have every natural resource management organization pretty much in the country based right here in Klamath Falls or nearby. So we have the National Park Service, the Forest Service, Fish and Wildlife Service, Bureau of Reclamation. You couldn't ask for a better place in the Klamath Basin to teach environmental science. And part of the reason for that is we're kind of in this convergent zone of all of these different ecosystems that come together here. It's a spectacularly beautiful landscape as well, from the Great Basin Desert and places like Steens Mountain to Crater Lake to the coast. It's such, such a beautiful landscape. We actually get to go out into the field, we get to do our own little scientific studies, we get to talk to these different agencies. We're not just in a class the whole time talking about it on a PowerPoint slide. We're actually going out and experiencing these different jobs and different career paths and different methods of science and data collection. I really like that about OIT. It is, after all, about the environment, so you need to get out in it.